I hate that. I hate it so much. And I have realized too, it's like a thing with people even outside of work. If people are like, and you know, people can give me advice and I'm like, okay, that's fine. Like if, I don't know, a parental figure wants to be like, I think it's better if you do it this way. Then I'm like, okay, cool. But I'm like, if someone's like, you have to, um, someone block this person. You're disgusting. Leave. Um, but if someone was like, you need to follow my instructions and you need to do this, like it makes me so mad. And I don't, I'm sure there has to be like some deeper thing that goes with that where I don't, I don't know what it is, but you don't like someone who likes to, I don't, yeah, I don't like it. Cause then I'm like, you're my space. <laughs> you're my space. <laughs> Leave me alone. Quiet girl, be quiet. This is my life. So get on, get, get on, get out of here. You know what I hate? That's see, even that be quiet. And who are you? I think it's almost like, I feel like it's weird when people feel like they're so entitled to be like, telling other people what to do like if you're not my parent and you're not someone that I'm like okay I respect you and you got this far and I just I don't know need to learn something from what you've done then I'm like why are you so entitled to be like I hate it I, I think it's an entitlement thing I'm like don't mm -mm. don't like it I don't like it I agree. Thank you. Thank you. I'm like, oh no, I'm not angry, guys. I'm just saying, you're entitled to say whatever you want. Chick fil A? <laughs> Sorry, that girl's stuck in my head. No, because, okay, I think it's just like the way people approach it. Like, obviously, people can do and say whatever they want to say because you're allowed to. You know, but I'm like, sometimes I'm like, you can't just be like bossing people around. like people aren't going to like you. And I've seen it. I'm like, I've seen super strong personalities where they're like, oh, I just want to like dictate what someone does. Like I've had so many people come to me and be like, we don't like this person. Like it's literally, I'm not even kidding. It's not just me. I'm like, people will go to me and be like, I, yeah, just saying. Are you a Gemini? No. That'd be crazy. I've never been asked if I was a Gemini before. What's a personality that you respect? Um, a personality that, that I respect. I'm like really like thinking about this. Hold on. Mmm. You know what? Okay, this is like something so random. I love like very outgoing, confident people. Like I, one of my friends is super like outgoing and confident and su super friendly with everyone. Like I respect that. Cause I'm like, there's a lot of times where I can't do that. And I'm like, I'm like, you have courage. I'm like, you have so much courage. But I know and outgoing and confident. What? I don't even know what that means. I don't think I finished reading that sentence. I'm like, what? But yeah, that's a thing. Is that friend a boy? No, it's a girl. She's okay. If you guys know Bunk, that's Bunk's mother. Bunk is a cat that I ba would babysit and Bunk's mom is like my, one of my best friends. And she's always super outgoing and she goes to a ton of parties and she just has a ton of friends. And I'm like, I respect you. I'm like, I don't know if I would be able to do that. Like, I don't think, like I am friendly, but I'm like, girl, 
Like she all the time. She's super she's super friendly and outgoing and everything. Partying is a red flag. No. I understand that aspect of it. Like partying is a red flag. But I respect her for just having like this always outgoing, like talks to everybody, talks to her I don't know. People sitting across from her in class. Like I'm like, whoa. I mean, I wouldn't do it. But I'm like, I respect that she does it. Because I'm like, some people need that friend that's going to be super outgoing. You know? Lip liner. <laughs> people are like, no. <laughs> people are like, no, I don't get it. Oh, what you said? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, Did I cook today? Having a friend who's partying is a red flag. Guys, I don't party. I don't party, I don't whatever else. I just think that she's very outgoing and friendly. Honestly, she was my my roommate at some point. So, you know, you kind of have to be friends with your, I mean, not all of them, but she had a very nice personality. So, you know. Roommate, gotta be friends. Except for that one roommate. Guys, I have talked about the one roommate a ton. She is something different, okay? I don't want to hear about it. Whoever thinks she's outgoing... What? I don't even know. People are just saying everything's a red flag. That's funny. Oh, that messy... Yeah, if anyone remembers the messy roommate, I can't handle... Well, the thing is, is like... You gotta be, like, aware that you're just trashing a whole place when you live with other people that aren't really your, like, friends and don't really know you. Like, you have to be respectful of other people, and she really wasn't. Do yourself a favor and learn martial arts. I do know martial arts. Do you? You know who, I don't think so. You don't know me. If you could select only one makeup item, what would it be? Lip gloss. I love lip gloss. Guys, I can't, you know. Sorry, you'll ask some out of pocket questions. I'm like, what? What did you just say? Um, Lip gloss though, because me as a kid I had horrible lips like I would just rip off my I'm not even kidding like rip off my lips because they were so dry so I can't stand not having lip gloss or like and it's mainly lip gloss I do have chapstick but I like lip gloss better so I think that would be the that would be the makeup item and I've been my family members are like, why do you always have lip gloss? Like, they literally hate on me for having lip gloss, like, 24-7. And I'm like, I literally need to have lip gloss all 